Hey folks, <clears throat> Brother Josh here. I'm out here in the dark this evening so I can demonstrate something to you. My brother Casey Stout of our AFCO Tennessee revealed something to us. A lot of you may know it, but a lot of, a lot of you may not about this. But you can take a flashlight, a small flashlight, and set a water bottle on top of it in the dark, and it suddenly becomes a giant lamp. Like it will illuminate everything around just simply because you stuck that lap, that water bottle on top of that small flashlight. So then it turns into this whole experience that we go back and forth with scripture. You know, what does this mean? How does God turn this into a message? And it simply means this, that Jesus being the light of the world, that the light came into the world and, and, the, and the darkness hated the light because it revealed the deeds of men being evil. And Jesus is that constant light. He is the constant light. Nobody, nobody lights a candle to put it up on a, to to hide it under a bush. Well, no, you put you light a candle. You turn on a light to light up everything around, right? So you can see. That's what Jesus is for us. He lights not only he lights our path. Not only does he light our way. Not only does he do all the things that Jesus is so good for doing. But he uses every single one of us to shine that same light. See, the light is constant. The light is constant. He is the light is Jesus. My brother David, buddy David, Keith sings a song, the light is you, Lord, the light is you. The light is you, Jesus, and Jesus being that light. So let me just show you, let me just demonstrate something to you here real quick, just so I can. We'll turn this light on, right? Okay. That's all it is. Just turn that on. Okay, now watch this. That is so bright. That's so bright, I can't even look at it. That lit up, that, that has lit up everything. Clear out into the yard. Why? Because, because the water and the light came together. This is you. This is me. This is me just walking through life. Just going about my business. A man must be born of born again, right? You must be born again. You must be born of water and of spirit. You must be born. You must be a person. You must be born. You're born. And one of them days, when you come to the Lord, when you answer the call to come to Christ, you get saved. The light and you come together. And from that point on, that's how you are seen as an ambassador for Christ. That's how the that's how the enemy sees you. Lighten up the darkness, lighten up everything around you, lighten up every area of life. Why? Because the light of Christ is shining through you. But you've got to come to that light. You've got to answer the call. The light is calling. He never stops calling. But you've got to answer the call to come to the light. Because the light is Jesus is. He is. He is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Draw nigh unto the Lord. He's drawn nigh unto you. Take this and use it. If you didn't know this, it's just a simple thing, but I believe it, it can be something special with kids. If you're a Sunday school teacher, if you're whatever whatever you are, you can, this something right here that's so simple, you can take this. And it don't have to be a big spotlight. This this brother had a small little light and a water bottle, a half, half gone water bottle, and it lit up the entire camp area where he was around on the picnic table. Something so simple. The light is you, Lord. It's amazing. When the light and the water come together, when you come into the sheepfold of God, into the sheepfold of Christ, become who and what, he, what it is that he has called you to be, there's nothing more powerful than a son and daughter, a child of the Most High God, walking in their calling and doing what God has called them to do. He's a good Savior. He's good to us. He's better to us than we deserve. He's worthy of our praise. Hope this helps somebody this evening. It helped me. It's helped us, glory to God. And uh, praise the Lord. Jesus is the only way.